happy Wednesday. So this week we're going to talk a little bit about, what do you think? I've got so many things here. Beans, sausages, avocado. What food group do you think we're going to talk about? Protein. Protein is what builds our muscles. So last week we talked about the five food groups and getting a nice healthy plate of food and trying different things and getting in all the five food groups. This week we're going to talk about some different sources of protein or ways we can get protein into our diets. So who knows what protein does for our bodies? I bet a lot of you are standing there like this. Yes, protein helps to build muscles in our bodies. Absolutely right. It's a building block. We need it for other things other than just building muscles. We need it for our beautiful nails and our skin and our hair and our internal organs, all those organs inside our body that make our body work. So we need protein for all of these things. It's very important. You don't, as a child, you don't need loads of protein, um, but you do need to have, I think it's about 19 grams. So a few servings at breakfast, a few servings at lunch, and a few servings at dinner or throughout the day to keep you going. Now, protein is the thing that keeps us going throughout the day. It sustains us. So if we just eat carbohydrates like pasta, um, rice, noodles, cereal, our energy, we have a lot of quick energy, but then by lunchtime, we're going to be hangry, right? You know when you get hangry, you get a bit grumpy with your teacher and with your friends. Um, but protein is what gives us the energy that will get us through to lunch and our stomach won't be growling so much. It will get us then, if we eat some protein at lunch, it will then get us to dinner and to bedtime. So it's slow burning, which means that it gives us energy that lasts throughout the day. So again, different ways we can get protein, right? We often think of meat um, as a great way, turkey, turkey, pork, um, beef, chicken, different ways. But a lot of our families, we don't eat meat. So some of us might eat fish, um, salmon, uh, tuna, different types of fish that you can eat throughout the day. If we're a vegetarian, avocados are a great way to get our protein as our eggs. Um, some of us are vegan, so we don't eat dairy either. So we might focus on beans and legumes to get our protein, or maybe things like this, protein shakes that we can make with our protein powder. Um, cheese, I think it's a favorite, it's a great snack. And yogurt has a lot of protein in it, different types of yogurt. So all different ways based on how our families eat that we can get protein into our bodies. So again, it builds our muscles, it gives us our beautiful hair, it helps our organs develop and work properly within our bodies, and it gives us that nice slow burn of energy throughout the day so we can keep on going. So the importance of protein is there, like I said, it's a building block for a healthy diet. So I hope that you're trying to get in all these different types of proteins that you can. Um, and again, look in your cupboards, look in your fridge, look in your freezer, talk to your mom and dad about making different lists and see so if you can come up with some new ways to get protein into your diets. So coming up, there is Miss Taylor has created a protein um, overnight oats breakfast idea for you. And there's also a strength building Tabata workout that you can do. Because I think most of us are at home doing virtual schooling today. So why not give the Tabata a go? Um, and then why not make up your own Tabata that helps build your muscles, your core, and your leg muscles. All right, have a great Wednesday, everyone. See you next week.